Javier Baez has always been a streaky, high swing and miss rate guy, but even this is extreme for him. He's coming off one of his best seasons in 2021. In this year, his first with Detroit, he's giving his new team the worst production numbers we've ever seen from him. Batting average, slugging, weighted on base average, exit velo, and more. And we're now 200 plate appearances into the season. So what happened to El Mago? That's what we'll get into in this video. I want to remind everybody to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming baseball content and hit that like. Liking the video is the best way to support the channel and the video and lets me know you enjoy this content, which will get me to do more of it. In 2021, Javi Baez slashed 265, 319, and 494, good for an 813 OPS, an OPS plus of 116 and 31 home runs. And Baez drives one deep left field toward the wall. And O'Neal jumps, he can't get it. It's a home run to tie the game. In 2022, he's slashing 197, 242, and 301. An OPS of 543, which is an OPS plus of 58. With just three home runs. Now, over the past offseason, he cashed in on that 2021 by signing a six-year, $140 million contract that includes an opt-out after two years. He was coming off a top three season and would be a part of the Tigers' next step to competing. You'll recall at the top I mentioned that he's been a streaky player, so the organization and fan base should know what they're getting. An example of that streakiness is front and center when you look at his 2021 monthly batting splits. April at 244 to May up slightly to 281, way down in June to 157, way up to 320 in July, back down to 213 in August, and soaring back up to 347 in September and October. What a roller coaster! Altogether, his 2021 percentile rankings looked good. 67th percentile in exit velo, 74th percentile in hard hit rate, 85th percentile in barrel rate, with the usually awful K rate, walk rate, whiff rate, and chase rate. But in 2022, we've seen the exit velo drop to the 34th percentile, the hard hit rate to the 24th percentile, and the barrel rate to the 47th percentile. What has fueled this drastic decline? Let's get into it. In 2021, he destroyed breaking balls. He saw sliders 25% of the time and hit 276 with a 494 slugging. And he saw the curveball 9.3% of the time and hit 362 with a 723 slugging. Basically, if you threw him a curveball last year, you were being an idiot. How's he doing this year? He's seeing the slider more, 31.7%, but he's only hitting 123 with a 154 slugging percentage. And that curve that he was annihilating, he's seeing that more too, 10.5%, but he's hitting 250 and slugging 350. That has caused the run value on those pitches to predictably drop. The curve from 4 to 0 and the slider from 10 to negative 11. That is a big reason for the decline in the hard hit rate, where we saw a 2021 rate of 45.2% drop to 35.6% this season. The culprit for this has been his inability to get to that low and away pitch, where if you're executing properly, the curve and the slider will land. You can see in 2021, he saw 28%. The highest rate of pitches seen were low and away, and he was able to hit 248 on that location. And if you hung it, he killed it. Six of the nine strike zone zones had a batting average over 333. Now in 2022, he's seeing even more low and away, 33%, up 5% from last year, and he's hitting a putrid 0.052 and remember if you hung the pitch last year he was crushing it six of nine zones over 333 in 2022 it's just four of nine zones over 333 now tigers fans are getting tired of it and want to see a return on the team's investment 
Baez, who's no stranger to the Boo Birds, has begun to hear it from the Tigers crowd. And to that, he's responded with, I got no comments on that. I'm just going to go out there, be myself, and play hard. It's obviously frustrating for us when we struggle. It's frustrating for them too. But they want to see you do good. But we're struggling. It's part of it. Sometimes we're down on ourselves. But it's not about that. It's about coming the next day and being better. What do you think? Will Baez get it going, or is this a case of a player cashing in and doesn't care anymore? I would disagree with that, by the way. But let me know what you think. Comment below. A Javi Baez that is raking is good for baseball. So I know that I'm going to be rooting for him to start teeing off on those breaking pitches again and getting to those low and away offerings. Hit that like if you're pulling for Javi and to support the video. And of course, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and check out some of the other content. I'll add links here to recent videos that I've posted. I appreciate you spending some time with the channel and thank you for watching my video.